So we're going to take a look at Hustle Pro, uh, another really popular plugin um, that is uh, free with uh, uh, DRM's uh, sites that we build out and our hosting. Um, so let's take a look at what this plugin can do for you. Um, so Hustle Pro handles pop-ups and embeds. So here, when we click the Let's Talk on this site, we see that this um, uh, pop-up happens. And Hustle Pro is creating the pop-up. And then inside of it, we have a standard heading, a paragraph text, <clears throat> and a form. The form's coming from Forminator, and Forminator's making that work for us. So that's all there and ready to go from Forminator. But Hustle Pro is making this functionality where it pops up over top of the site automatically. So let's take a look at how we can create something like that. Over here we're in Hustle Pro and we've gone to pop-ups. Um, there are other things it does like a slide in, an embed, um, and some social sharing. Um, so we can show a couple examples of those uh, later. But the, what we're going to create today is your standard pop-up. So let's go ahead and go ahead and hit create. And we're going to go ahead and do the uh, Black Friday sale as a as an example, we could go with email opt-in, but in this case, we're talking about a sale, so let's go informational. And <clears throat> there's quite a few templates built in here. It does some nice things for you, so we could do like the spring sale. We did Black Friday sale, a very simplistic one, so let's hit preview to see what that looks like. And this is going to show us this pop-up over top of our site. So there's our site, and here's our pop-up over top. A um, couple things to point out. It lets you close it and go back to the site. Mm -hmm. We've got a nice big title. We've got some subtext. We've got um, a link out or a call to action. And we've got a no thanks that will make this pop up no longer show up for this person um, so that it doesn't keep popping up depending on your rules. If I close this, I'm then presented with the site. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this um, preview altogether by clicking close up here in the top corner. And let's go ahead and choose this template. Now this is a very simplistic template, so we'll keep some things um, basic on this. So we've got Black Friday. Um, we don't have a subtitle. We actually have some um, main content here. So don't miss out on our biggest sale of the year. 70% um, off our selected products. We can customize this as we see fit. So let's make that 50%. And then here we've got our view offers button and the redirect URL, let's say maybe we're working on an Etsy shop. So um, my store here. So this would link out to my Etsy store in this case. And we'll, we'll leave that option there for them to click never see this again. We've got some other options we can do. We can modify um, how it looks. We can change out the typography. Um, we can play with a whole lot of things there. We also can change the visibility so we can make it show only when certain things are set. So maybe we only want to show it, um, oh, let's say on a certain page or if they come from a certain ad campaign or only after the visitor has seen something else. We can make all kinds of really cool visibility rules and we can also create some um, behavior things like scheduling. So if this is for our Black Friday sale, and we only want it to show after a certain date has passed. So we're working way in advance here, but let's say Black Friday is somewhere in that neighborhood of uh, November, and we don't want it to show until November 1st. We can go ahead and set that there, and we can say that we don't want it to show um, when November is over. So there, when we go from uh, November 1st to November 30th, we have that schedule for when it can show up and we can have it um, automate that light, that part of our life for us. So it's set to go on every day, all day, and um, not worrying about time zones. We won't get into all those advanced things, but we can see that we can get that schedule set and we can say that it only shows up maybe after they scroll through, let's say 25% of the page, okay? So let's go ahead and preview what we've got going on here. So um, we've got our offer set up. We've got our link going out to our Etsy. We've got our no thanks, I'm not interested. And then um, we'll test our pop-up trigger once we get this live. Um, so 
few other things. Let's make it um, bounce in up and bounce out. So let's go ahead and preview that change. So there we can see it bounce up and there we can see it bounce out. Um, so that's our um, animations that we've got going on there. We've got quite a few other things to go on there, but let's go ahead and just publish this as we've got it. And now um, we can go ahead and get it. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and turn off the schedule. We had a great demo there, but let's just say that this is going to start publishing immediately so that we can see it in action. Um, so let's say start publishing immediately and then save the schedule. And let's go ahead and update everything that we've just done. So now that we've got that updated, we'll be able to start using our pop-up on pages. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look now if we head to uh, our demo page. And as we start to scroll, we'll hit this magic 25% uh, number. And once we get down low enough and it has time to load, it's going to go ahead and play our pop-up. So now we can't scroll anymore. We've got our pop-up in front. We can click our link and it's going to take us to our Etsy store, which of course was a fake one. Um, but we can see we've got our content all there ready to go or we can close it and it'll bounce out. Okay, so that is um, Hustle Pro in a nutshell. Um, other things that it can do really great are slide-ins embed, slide and embeds. Let's just go ahead and give us a demo real quick of this. Um, and see what one of these looks like. So this is an example of a slide in, very similar to a pop up, but you can see how it has that kind of um, uh, built into the page feel um, a little bit more than say the pop up does. So that's a slide in example. Let's go ahead and take a look at an embed. Mm -hmm. And an embed is gonna feel even more like it's a part of the page. So here's another demo. And let's preview the new year one here. So the embed literally comes in place on the page, part of it um, ready to go. So it will interrupt a section automatically based on that. Um, so that's a quick overview of pop-ups, slide-ins, embeds. Um, just like Forminator, you can do various integrations um, so that you can do things like get it integrated with Constant Contact or uh, MailChimp um, for like an email sign up, stuff like that. Really, really slick stuff um, built into Hustle Pro automatically. All right, so that covers Hustle Pro as a nice overview, and uh, we'll continue going through some popular plugins from here.